The Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31, is one of our neighboring galaxies. It's the closest spiral galaxy to the Earth, which is estimated to be around 2,500,000 light years away from the Earth. Out of the local group, which includes our galaxy, triangular spiral and around 44 small galaxies, the Andromeda is the largest. It's the most distant celestial body you can see with the eye alone. In Greek mythology, Andromeda was the name given to the daughter of King Sepius of Ethiopia and Queen Cassiopeia. The Andromeda galaxy constellation is seen in the northeastern sky early in the evenings of autumn. And as it is close to our galaxy, we are able to see this with our own eyes. Our galaxy is 100,000 light years in diameter, but Andromeda is much larger at 200,000 light years in diameter. Also, our galaxy has around 400 billion stars within it, whereas Andromeda has a much larger number, estimated at 1 trillion stars. It is estimated that Andromeda is about 1 trillion 200 billion times, and our galaxy is about 1 trillion 900 billion times as much as the Sun in mass. So, our galaxy is heavier than that of the Andromeda galaxy. The Andromeda galaxy can be more easily seen on a dark moon's night in an area with no severe light pollution. Of course, what you can see is just a hinted zone of a bright galaxy. Andromeda has already collided with its neighbor M32 over 200 million years ago and created a large galaxy. The black hole which is located in the center of the Andromeda galaxy is estimated to be about 200 million more mass than that of the Sun. Andromeda's lucidity is about 100 billion times brighter than that of our Sun. And the body of galaxy contains a number of stars, star clusters, and gaseous nebulars, etc. There are two small ellipse galaxies on both sides of the Andromeda galaxy. Around 30 galaxies, including ours, belong to a local group of galaxies. They are all bound gravitationally. Andromeda is the greatest of them. Andromeda is currently approaching our galaxy at 500,000 kilometers an hour. And it is estimated that it will collide with our galaxy in 4 billion 500 million years. Although it is expected to collide with our galaxy, this collision between the two galaxies doesn't mean that stars will collide with each other, as they are still too far away. So it is expected that the galaxies will conjoin to make an enormous oval galaxy. Nobody knows exactly who discovered Andromeda for the first time. In 964, an astronomer Persia called Abd al Rahman al Supi wrote a book titled, The Galaxy Looks Like a Small Cloud. This is the first written record about Andromeda. Later, in 1764, an astronomer of France, Charles Mature, marked galaxy as M31. Also, at that time, Simon Marius, a German astronomer, became the first to observe Andromeda through a telescope. Then, in 1887, Isaac Roberts, an astronomer from England, took the first picture of the Andromeda galaxy. Until the 1900s, astronomers believed that the Milky Way, which is a part of our galaxy, was the entirety of the universe. However, with the discovery of Andromeda, it became the speculation that new celestials could exist beyond our galaxy. In those days, it was often argued whether our galaxy, including our solar system, was the entire universe or other celestials exist outside our galaxy. It was only within the early 1920s that the Andromeda galaxy became of particular interest to astronomers. With the first discovery of Andromeda, it also became an argument about its existence, as they wondered if it would be a large galaxy indicating a group of billions of stars beyond our galaxy or simply one large star. In the 1940s, Walter Bade, a German astronomer working in the United States, became the first man to observe each of the stars in the center of the Andromeda galaxy. Also, he was able to formally measure the distance from the Earth to Andromeda. 
we'll continue to observe the stars of the Andromeda Galaxy.